Hello guys, welcome to Extra Cyber X. In today's video, I'm going to talk about the open system interconnection. If you ever wondered how computers are able to communicate over the network, this is the right video for you to actually grasp the concept. If you're new to this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button and you like this video. So what is the open system interconnection? Before I start, I'm going to talk about the objectives of this video. To understand how the OSL allows threat identification, understanding the working of the different protocols, and understand how the different layers are able to communicate. So there are actually seven layers of the OSL model. Because it really presents an easy way to standardize different parts required to communicate across the network. The requirements are split into multiple layers, seven layers. For example, you have, you have a phone, you have a web application, and you have a email service for all this to be able to collaborate and communicate into a single network the OSL model is there for this job so what is this OSL model so this OSL model contains seven layers which show how a computer will be able to communicate with another device on the internet or i can say a network so the first layer is the application layer followed by the presentation, then the session layer, the transport, network layer, the data link, and the physical layer. So to start up with this video, I'm going to talk about uh, a simplified version of it. I ain't going to go deep about it. I'm just going to go on the surface. I'm going to make a good summary about it. So for you guys, you easily understand. So let's start with the application layer. This is where when you are talking when you are trying to communicate to a computer, like this is where the user interface is actually, is actually present. This is where the user interface is actually present. This is what the users will actually use to interact with a computer across a network. So many developers use this layer as a way to create an application. So in this layer, the protocols used are the hypertext transfer file, the file transfer protocol, the simple network management protocol the file transfer protocol the hypertext transfer protocol so these are the protocols which are used to initiate the application layer so what are protocols protocols are just like a set of rules that govern the data that govern data to to the right end users that govern data to the right end users so uh, the developers create application on this layer like application layer uh, for example, we can talk about web applications. When talking about web applications, we're talking about information security. Information security lies in this application layer for the way the app, uh, the firewalls are implemented, like some boxing solutions. We're talking about proxy servers and the likes. Moving on, we'll go to the presentation layer. So presentation layer, as the word says, presentation, allows us, uh, allows us, allows us to understand that for data to be transferred it has to be in the right format so how is data presented in the right format the data is presented in the right format using encoding schemes encoding schemes i mean encoding means like uh, to cover up some message using characters and symbols also encryption when you talk about encryption we're talking about asymmetric encryption and symmetric encryption the difference is that one in asymmetric encryption, the public key and the private key are shared. While in symmetric, only the private key is kept private. So these types of services help us to present data in the right format. For example, uh, when you talk about zip files, zip files zip files offer security in a way that they compress the data present so the protocols used in this we're talking about the unicode transformation format we're talking about the transport security layer and we're talking about the security socket layers the third layer of the osl is the session layer so the session layer is there for the connection maintenance between applications and below it involves establishment of connections and maintenance of these connections so how are these connections maintained and how are they established so these connections are actually maintained using protocols 
this protocol is like NetBIOS. This is a Windows protocol which was established for maintenance of sessions and dissolving names. We are talking about session initiation protocol, which is there for engagement of voice over the uh, internet protocol for communication. Like if you want to communicate over the internet, like one guy has one phone and you want to make a call over the internet, there has to be like a session control. So this session layer is actually involved in that case. So moving forward, we have the transport layer. The transport layer ensures that applications are presented on the network and data is forwarded to the right side. Like the data is forwarded to the right side. So for this, the transmission control protocol and the user data protocol are used. So this makes sure that data is transmitted in the right sequence and error free. Shows that data is forwarded to the right site through end-to-end -end data communications and allows applications to be presented on the network. I'll go further about the protocols in the next video. I'm going to talk about more about the protocols. But in this video, I'm just going to demonstrate how the OSL model is actually linked up for us to be able to communicate and to understand with each other over the internet. So let's just go next to the next layer, which is the network layer. So this layer is where most of the actual networking is actually done, like network engineers. Network engineers operate on these layers and cybersecurity professionals operate on this layer. This layer helps us to actually enables us for us to know which path are we supposed to use for our packets to follow and which which secure paths are there for us to actually implement on our day-to-day -day activities over the internet. So the internet protocol is there. We're talking about internet control message protocols and the internet set, which is the IP set, which stands for internet protocol security. So further on, moving on, we have the second but not last, the data link. So when you're thinking about the data link, think about the wireless connections, which are there to connect the physical devices to our network. In such, we have the Wi-Fi's Ethernet in this layer. Wi-Fi stands for wireless fidelity. So it moves physical infrastructure to the logical. It's possible to provide an error-free link between two devices. So the data link layer is just there for linkage, to link to a physical device to have access to the network. La last but not last, the last uh, the last layer is the physical layer. The physical layer has Bluetooth and control area network using radio signals and electric connections. The physical layer actually contains infrastructure. So we're talking about Ethernet. Ethernet is there to provide an internet connection via the connecting of two computers using the same cable. So that's it for today's video. I hope you liked it. If, if anything, you drop in the comments, share this video, like it, and subscribe to my channel. That's it.